Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today on another video. In, t in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a fresh install of Mac OS High Sierra on your Mac. So this can be any supported Mac. Uh, I'm going to be doing it on my iMac which that's right behind me. So the process is pretty simple. It's not that tough, but you do have to follow it and always make sure that you have a backup. I can't stress this enough because if you lose a file, you can't get it back in this. So let's get on to showing you what to do. All right, everybody, so here's what you're gonna need to do this installation. So the first thing you need is a Mac, obviously. Then you're gonna need a USB flash drive. A USB flash drive, preferably USB 3.0. A 2.0 is okay, but it will be a little bit slower to install, and it definitely has to be more than 8 GB because the installer file itself is about four or five gigs. So definitely 8 GB and above, anything above is fine. And you're gonna be needing uh, to download a software that I'll show you guys. So you, you need an internet connection as well. But first, I wanna show you guys how much time it takes to boot up the computer without doing a restore. So mine takes a pretty long time to uh, boot. So I generally don't even turn off my computer anymore because I can't wait for it to boot up. So let me show you how much time that takes. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's move on to the boot. So this is the boot time before the restore. After I restore, we'll do, I'll do this test again, and I'll include it towards the end of the video and add a time difference for you guys. So right now I've disconnected everything. I have two additional monitors here and over here, uh, if you guys can see that, over here, this one, and this one. So I've disconnected the two monitors. I've disconnected every USB, everything else. So the only thing connected into the computer right now is the power. So I'm going to start it off at the count of three. One, two, three. So let's see how long it takes. All right, everybody, so I am into my login screen. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna enter my password and we'll see how much time it takes for the rest of the process. So I'm gonna end the test when I have uh, my finder window and my taskbar up here loaded. Until then, I'm gonna wait, so. This is gonna be a part of my boot up, boot up process and time because this is actually when the computer becomes functional. So the taskbar is loaded, but as you can see on the right, we still don't have uh, a lot of the time and those things. So once they pop up, then I'll stop the timer. All right, so we have the time and everything else. It's loading up, but I will count that right here. So you can see it took a pretty decent amount of time. My laptop, which has an SSD, takes about not even a tenth of the time this took. It loads up in with under 15 seconds. So let's move on to the next part of the video. All right, everybody. So one of the first steps you're gonna to wanna to take in this process is making a backup. So there's two ways of going at this. Uh, there's one way is the time machine way. So Apple has its own software called Time Machine, which you can use. The thing with Time Machine is it takes a literal backup in the sense it just mirrors everything you have and stores it, and then it restores it. The thing with that is if you're having issues right now, which is probably why you're gonna wanna do a fresh install, you're not gonna want all of the same files to be copied over because the problem probably lies within those files. So what you're gonna do it, what you're gonna wanna do in my opinion is make the files that you want, just grab them, put them into a folder on your desktop or anywhere, copy them to a hard drive and restore them one by one. And for your applications, what I suggest is just uh, open them like this, go full screen and take a screenshot of this. So, so just take a screenshot of all these applications so that you remember which ones you have and you can download them again. Now the thing I also recommend doing is anything else that you would prefer that you want to restore and uh, probably won't be easy to restore take screenshots a lot of them and just have them saved so here I have this uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start copying this over into this uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna copy this all over into my backup which I'm going to name iMac 2017 so let me just go in and I will place this back up here So I'm going to open up another file here real quick. Here I'm going to start copying over documents. Okay, so are there any documents that I really need? Okay, so this I'll take, let's see, what is this? Nah, I don't need this stuff. All right, so there's only this one thing I need. I'm going to copy this over. Then I've emptied downloads and uh, kept what I needed. 
music I need, so I'm just gonna copy over my entire music. Oh, maybe. Alright, so I just made a little bit of a mistake here. Let me just go back and fix that real quick. So let me go to my, so I'm gonna copy this over. Music, I need all of my music as well. So what I'm gonna do is just copy from my home folder to here. Uh, pictures, I need everything, but the thing is I don't want to copy over my uh, pictures, uh, my photos library that uh, I have. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna control A and unselect this and copy everything else over to my backup. <clears throat> So as you can see, everything is now backing up. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes. It all depends on what you're, how much data you have. It could be an hour, it could be five minutes. So just let everything copy over and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, everybody. So now what we're gonna get to is downloading High Sierra and creating an install drive. So how we're supposed to do about, go about this is open the app store on a Mac. So you're going to need a Mac to do this. So if you don't, if your computer isn't working properly, borrow a friend's or definitely figure something out because you're going to need a Mac. So then we go to, um, let's just go to top charts. I'm sure it'll be there. Nope. Featured Mac OS high Sierra. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this and it's going to take a little bit of time because these files are usually pretty big. And uh, depending on your internet speed, it could take anywhere from uh, an hour to four to five hours. So it says the size is 4.8 GB. Uh, let's see how long it takes me, but uh, once it's done, let me get back to you. All right, everybody. So while we have High Sierra downloading, what you're gonna wanna do is, there's another app that you'll be needing to uh, create this flash drive to do a clean install on your Mac. So what the software is called is Disk Creator. I have uh, this link here. So I'm gonna have this in the description down below, so be sure to check it out. Now, all you're gonna wanna do is go to this website and there will be a Mac download link. So all you're gonna wanna do is download the Mac OS app and install it. So there we go, I have it. And uh, it, <clears throat> what you're gonna wanna do is, to make it easier for yourself, just copy this over to your desktop uh, you can drag it over, it's the same thing. Once you have this here and it's ready to go, all you have to do is wait for High Sierra to download and then we can move on to the next step. All right, everybody. So uh, once High Sierra is downloaded, it's gonna give you a pop-up like this. Don't do anything to this. Just go to your applications and in your applications, you will see High Sierra, install High Sierra. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have to copy this Bring it over to your desktop to make it easier because if you do continue on this menu, what it'll do is it'll just install on your computer as is. So you don't want to do that. So just copy it over to your desktop and you'll be good to go. Now the next step, what you want to do is you want to get a flash drive. So any flash drive about above 8 GB will do. Uh, preferably take a USB 3.0 flash drive because it will make the uh, installation a lot faster. If it's an older USB, the transfer disk rates are slower, so it it will take more time. Now that I have the High Sierra um, inst installer on my desktop and I have the disk creator on my desktop, I'm gonna plug in my <clears throat> flash drive. So the flash drive is connected, and all you have to do now is open disk creator. So open this and you're gonna see this pop up. So it says select the volume to become the installer here. Select SanDisk, choose Mac OS installer. So it automatically took it from my applications. Uh, it sometimes doesn't, but if it does, just click choose Mac OS installer and wherever you copied it over to, just take it, it already has it. So I'm just gonna click create installer. It will erase the disk, so if you guys have anything on your flash drive that you want to copy over, copy it over before you start this. So, I'm good to go. So, erase disk. <clears throat> Alright. Enter your password and it should start. Uh, I have no idea how long this takes. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Alright, everybody. So, 
we have this completed. So it says that the Buddha Wound Star has been created and it gives us the instructions of how to reboot. So what we have to do from here is uh, go to the computer. So I'm using my laptop for making this. So I'm going to move to my computer, the iMac, where I'm going to do the fresh restore. And I'll show you how it goes. So the, the gist of it is, is you have to plug it into your computer while it's shut down and press the power on button and hold down option on your keyboard and hold it there the second you hear the Apple chime, the, the startup chime, when you hear it, hold it and the menu will pop up. So since I can't screen record that, I'm going to use a camera and we'll get right to it. Don't look back, we're here to stay. Okay. All right, everybody. So now, now that we've done everything else and we're ready to do this, what you're going to want to do is once you have your flash drive ready, go ahead and turn off your computer. Now shut it down completely and make sure that you have everything disconnected. So any USBs, any uh, chargers, anything you have, make sure they're disconnected and removed from the computer. And if you have, uh, and yes, keep your pen drive ready. All right, so the computer is off. What you're gonna wanna do now is insert your flash drive into the iMac or MacBook, whatever you have. Now, the uh, how to get into this menu is, what you have to do is turn on your computer. Uh, the minute you hit, the second you hit the power button, you're gonna have the, uh, you're gonna have to wait for the Apple chime. So you, you might know that you have a chime whenever you turn your computer on. So what you do is when you hear that chime, hold down the Alt Option button on your keyboard and hold it until you see a menu pop up on the screen. The Apple logo uh, will go away and a menu will pop up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the power button and I will wait for that chime. All right, now the time is here. I'm holding down the option key. Hold it down until you see that menu. There you go. So now you see this menu. Now in this menu, select the last option. Install Mac OS High Sierra. So now it's going to boot up. And at this point, make sure you have had made a backup of everything because in this next step, what we're going to do is erase the entire hard drive. So if you have any data, any applications or something you need to save, double check everything, make sure your backup is safe, then go for this because after you do this, there's no going back. All right, everybody. So at this stage, I'll give you a word of advice. Make sure you have your Apple mouse and keyboard or a wired mouse and keyboard because uh, Bluetooth mouses like the Logitech MX Master 2 or any Bluetooth uh, based thing besides Apple stuff will not work. So I just faced a lot of difficulties with that. So I got out my Apple, mou Apple uh, mouse and my keyboard now and I'm going to be moving on. So what you're going to do is select your language and as you move on, you'll be given this menu. Hang on. So you'll be presented with this menu. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into Disk Utility. So again, a final warning, this will erase all contents of your disk. So make sure you have a backup because this is the point of no return. So go to Macintosh HD and click Erase. <clears throat> and once you're given this option, uh, keep, the, keep the name whatever you want. I just want to keep it Macintosh HD and make sure the format is Mac OS Extended Journaled. So, we're going to continue on with Erase. So now that it's erasing, give it a few minutes. It'll take about five to 10 minutes, let it erase, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now once this is done, uh, you don't have much more to do. Just click Done and close this window out. Now you're on to installing Mac OS. So hit Ma Install Mac OS, continue, and you'll be given the next menu. So it, you, a, after this point, things are going to start to get a little bit slower because now everything is running off the USB. So just hit agree. You agree. Click the drive where you want to install. So it will be Macintosh HD or whatever you named your drive. Click it, then click install. And now it will start installing on disk. So it'll take a quick minute to you know get everything ready. Then you'll reboot and then it'll get started. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed everything up for you guys because this is just going to be a lot of waiting. It might even be an hour or two. So let me just speed up and I'll meet you guys after this is over. Alright everybody, so let's move on to the installation process. So let's click United States. And there we go, we're done. So this is Mac OS High Sierra. Uh, this is a fresh install. So let's just continue right on and uh, I'm gonna turn off the computer and see how much time a boot up takes. So I did the boot up before restore and it was pretty long. So let's see if this has gotten any better. Now I know that I don't have the information in the files I did before, but I still think that it will be a good comparison to see how much of a difference doing a clean install makes onto your computer? All right, now we're shut down. So let me just turn it on in three, two, one, now. So again, as I stated last time, I'm only going to count the time over when I have everything in my taskbar, including the time, Bluetooth, and everything loaded up. So. It feels a little bit faster. I'm not sure to what extent, but let's see. I'm loving this new wallpaper. Great color range on it. I mean, it looks really beautiful. And it's already loaded, so immediately I can tell you that after login, everything is faster. So that was it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that boot up was way faster, especially the post login part was just immediate, but. Uh, the rest of the part seemed pretty well too, so that was that. Alright everybody, so we just saw that process go down. It wasn't that tough. It does take a little bit of time though, so make sure that you have uh, the day free and you don't need your computer for that day because it took me about five or six hours to get this done. And the backup process is completely different. That took me another couple of hours to restore everything, my applications and my files and everything. So do, t do make sure that you don't need your computer for the day and uh, that you're free to do all of this stuff. And uh, the boot up time was quite surprising to me. I didn't expect there to be that much of a difference. I, I expected uh, 15, 20 seconds, but there was a 40 second, 46 second gap between the uh, pre uh, reinstall and the post reinstall which is pretty surprising to me and I'm happy that I have a little bit more speed back in my computer let's see how long it lasts though because I might have a hard drive issue all right everybody thank you for joining me on this video all the links to everything I used are down below it's a very simple process I'll have everything you need also down below if you, in case you missed it follow me on social media for interesting behind the scenes uh, you know looks and just some general updates all the links are down below Thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.